In this video, we're gonna look at a parasitic disease. A disease that if you're not careful, you could get it. Hidatitsis or echinococcosis. There's two ways humans could get this disease. And they usually start from the liver. And in the beginning, it doesn't show any signs that you have it. But after the liver, it could damage your lungs and even your brain. When your liver has this disease, it shows these types of signs. Stomach ache, losing weight, and yellow skin. If your lungs have it, you could have pain in your chest area, your chest gets tight and you have trouble breathing, and you could also cough. So how do these parasites enter the human body? The eggs of this disease could enter your body in a lot of ways. Mostly water and dirty foods. Coming into contact with an infected animal. The, an animal that has this parasite, it will have the eggs in its feces. These animals could get it if they eat the meat of the sick animal. It could either be a sheep, cow, or other types of animals. Dogs and cats could get this parasite as well, but it's way more rare compared to other animals like sheep. Sheep, cows, goats, camels, pigs, kangaroo, and small animals like rats could carry this parasite. Animals like dogs, wolves, and fox could get it if they eat a sick animal. And that goes same for humans. If they eat the meat of a sick animal, they will have this parasite inside their body. The most common way a human can get it is eating the liver of a sheep. When the parasite enters the body, the first thing it wants to look at is the liver, and it creates a cyst around the liver. After the liver is infected, like we said, there's pain, and if it's not treated, it could lead to your lungs and brain. To check if the parasite is in your body, they have to run an ultrasound, run a CT scan, or the best case, MRI. But if they find it, they have to take it out of your body. And the best way to do that is perform surgery. And anywhere they find it, which is usually around the liver, they have to cut open and remove the cyst. But that was the beginning. If it gets bad, and it's not treated, it could get to very sensitive places that could damage you. And surgery is not gonna be the answer. In this case, chemotherapy has to be used. Sometimes the cyst tears up inside the body. In that case, you will get terrible stomach ache and a high fever. You have to perform surgery immediately in that case, or it could kill you. Like we said, the disease could come from animals like cats and dogs, and sheep and goats. It's good to know that it's found everywhere in the world. And right now, about 1 million people have it. But most of the people are in Asia, Africa, and South America. In the year 2015, around the world, 1,200 people died because of this cyst. But what can we do to keep ourselves safe from this parasite? The most important thing is washing your hands and keeping yourself clean, cleaning the food you're gonna eat. As you know, fruits and vegetables could be grown in ground or close to the ground, like strawberries, lettuce, these are the things that are in danger of having this parasite. Before you use these vegetables and fruits, like strawberry, make sure you clean them thoroughly. 
If you're buying lamb meat, especially the liver, and you tend to find a cyst on it, do not cut it open. Because if you cut it, there is a danger of getting a cyst around your eye. And you should properly dispose the liver because if an animal digs it up and eats it, they could start carrying that parasite around. If you were gonna get the cyst from another human, it's only from mouth. And that means even if you have a dirty hands and you touch your mouth, you could get it. The parasite could enter your body like that. But most of the time, humans get it with dirty food and dirty water. This is a liver that has the hidden it cysts. And you see these white spots? If anyone eats this, they could get the parasite. But this is just the beginning. If it lasts longer, the liver is gonna look like this. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows that this is a dirty, sick liver. The small ones are more dangerous because they can be seen way less. In conclusion, this thing is hiding to get us. If you're eating different types of foods from sheep and cows, make sure there's no cyst or spots on these foods. Please keep yourself clean, don't eat just anywhere, and keep yourself safe. I hope this video helped you out.